Lee oh, Mitchell. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your first fighter into the cage. Marco D. Gutsandi. Take it on, Marco. <laughs> De Conati. Well, there you Gaetani. go. Gaetani. Gaetani. Both, Gaetani. Guy, both guys look in good shape. Yeah, I, I, Lee Mitchell, he's a solid 135 pounder. And Gaetani is as well. He's a, I, expect, I expect a lot of movement from Mitchell. Expect a lot of movement from Marco as well. Yeah. He's a very active striker. If you notice, he's throwing those elbows about. He has quite a few finishes via TKO or KO. His hands are nice and high. A nice head kick by Mitchell. But if you notice, whenever Lee's coming in, Marco is throwing those elbows to catch him as he's coming in as kind of a block. He might not be able to parry the punch off but he can block it with that elbow as Lee comes yeah, in. Lee's He's gotta got to be careful. Lee's got to keep his hands tight, high. Marco, if you notice, Marco's keeping his hands nice and high. Nice, nice thumb kick though, nice teep by Mitchell. Oh, well, he's got the clinch. But Marco's got uh, over under. Nice trip. That was a very nice trip. It was a good setup for it. He lifted the hips, right? Now Gatani's got to work to try to keep the posture under control and not let Lee get up and rain down any punches or elbows. He yeah. looks to have one arm trapped, which is good. So as long as I said Mitchell's doing the right thing. He should be slipping, looking for elbows. There's one there, he's looking for the elbows. Yeah. Oh, if you can hear the crowd, very loud. Lee's in for a nice slip of the elbow. But Marco's moving his hips. And he got to be careful when you're slipping those elbows not to transition too far because you can get caught. Yeah, and Lee's got to watch the, watch the amber. 
But now he's passed. He's got the knee slice. Knee slice. There we go. To and now he sat down on it. And Lee's got his head in a very precarious position. Does not give Marco a, a lot of ability to move. You notice what Marco did there is he bridged to actually turn because he could feel the uncomfortableness of his head where it was at. He's doing everything right on bottom. And a nice, a nice knee slice again by uh, by Mitchell. But no, Marco's regained half guard again. But a great uh, top position by Mitchell. Oh, nice by Marco. And that was smart. And Marco yep. set it up by putting in the butterfly guard first and then was able to get that heel inside to be able to actually push off Lee. Lee needs to keep, keep, keep his hands up. We got two minutes and a bit of change left here in the first. Marco's continuing to back up. Lee again in on a body lock. Looks like he's gonna go for a leg break, yeah. which he does right into half guard. And he's got that arm trapped. If he sits on that along with that half guard, he can rain down some serious punishment. He's gotta be careful of the push though. Yeah, Marco's gotta watch, like I said, Marco should use the cage and try and push off what she's doing. Lee's gotta settle and bring Marco counterclockwise away from the cage. I'm a horrible person because I actually like doing exactly what Lee does, i.e. putting the knee right on the face. Yeah. It's mean, it's kind of dirty, but it's an old man thing, you know. Nice, Mitchell, he's gonna slice to mount. He has, he's in, uh, yep, mountain position. Mitchell's in mountain position. And, and now it's just a matter of taking your time, posturing up. Yeah, he's still got a lot of time. Still got a minute, over a minute to work. Just pick his shots. Don't rush. Yeah. He's in a strong position. And don't do anything to where you're going to be able to be <laughs> rolled. He, yeah, he's, he's and got, that's what Marco was trying. Yeah. He was looking to bait him in. He got a little. <laughs> Lee got a little and, bit excited. And, and that's just it. Lee's now scooted him away from the cage, which was smart. Oh, and uh, Mitchell abandoned mount. He went back to side control, which I prefer side over mount myself. I. I would rather be in half guard than any other position. I have the most control. I can sit on the leg. I feel like I can control the bottom man a lot better. Lee's going back to a uh, neon belly. Marco's good. He's regained the uh, regained the half guard, and he's looking to get guard again. Yeah. Lee's got to watch out with these hands laying around here, and he's also got to watch yeah, out for up kicks. Yeah, and he's got to yeah. Oh, and again he's got that arm trap. Oh, uh, nice, nice elbows. short elbows. And that one caught him. Big elbows there, now oh, nice. Only a little short, but nice elbows. And Marco's bleeding. It looks His biggest thing is anytime they were standing, he was always backling up and circling. Yeah. He needs to take the center of the cage. If he does that, he's gonna have a better opportunity to have put forth a bit more offense. There we go. Nice straight away. Jab low kick by Marco. Front kick, a keep by Marco. That's what he needs. He can't be pushed back, but now he's getting pushed back. And there we go, one, two. A nice uppercut in the inside. Yeah. Lee's gotta keep tight. Got to keep the, got to keep these hands tight. You know, no, it's Marco. Still, his hands are nice and high. Oh, oh, he's got to watch that. Exactly. And Marco's trying to time that takedown. It appears. Yeah. He looks to be waiting to see what is that precursor that Lee's going to do before he takes that shot, and he's going to try and throw that elbow. 
Oh. Nice body lock. Uh, I'm not sure, like, Mako, like, sort of pulled kind of guard, maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure. Lee had the body lock on, but Marco seemed to kind of pull it down, and he might have been off balance because as he was going down, he locked up real quick those arms so he couldn't yeah. take any damage. So it might have just been Lee caught him right at the right moment when he was really off balance, and now he's got a takedown out of it. He's back to uh, Lee's back in half guard with a nearly, nearly cut. Oh, he's going to pass. Yeah, he's nearly passed the legs again. Look, the legs are open. He's going to pass. Nice. Look at that pass. That was a pretty pass. Yeah, into Good a, hit pass. Yeah, into a, I like to call it a blanket position. I don't really know what other people call it, but I call it blanket position with the leg up through. I've called it the same thing for years. I'm not sure what the name is. I think maybe I heard it somewhere years ago, and I've just uh, kind of gone with it. And now Lee's got that crucifix. And more, look at these elbows. Oh, that's nasty elbows. More, Those are concussive blows. Yeah. Man, it was short elbows. And that's the thing with pro rules. The, the short elbows can do a lot of damage. They may not look, look big, but they can do a lot of damage. And with those short elbows, especially in that position. Oh, oh, nice by Mark. Mar nice reversal by Marco, but Lee's fight the scramble. Oh, wow, nice hit wow. by Lee. And look and at more him finish with more elbows. Looking to get back to that crucifix position. Yeah, he's gotta, Marco's got to watch he doesn't get his arm trapped for crucifix like this. He's got to keep fighting. Use that cage, Marco. Should be using that cage to push off. And use it exactly to pop your hips. Let's look for an underhook underneath and try to back door out of he's, it. Oh, Lee's looking for a key lock. Or Americano, as you would say. Yes, an Americano. <laughs> But it also, if I was Lee, he could switch to a straight arm by the close hand. Yeah, he could literally it, go. Because the arm's there. And a key look slash Americana, they're really difficult to finish. Even in the center of the cage, against the cage, it's nearly impossible because you can't get the right torque. That, that's what the Americana is. It's torque. You're, you're yeah. trying to pop that shoulder and out, but you have to turn it all the way over. I have finished one. Not a Kimura finisher like you, but I have got the Americana. Michael needs to, uh, like I said, he needs to be turning in. We're getting in this half. He's turning the wrong way now. I do like the fact that he's trying to get his body inside of Lee. We saw over here the way that he was able to get that escape was he was able to get his body in between, get his knees up, and then use his heel to kick off. Not sure if that's what he might have been attempting to do. But currently, at, you know, north, south, not a lot really can go on here for either guy. Lee's just got to be really wary that as Marco gets closer and closer to that cage, he can push off and create a bit of, uh, you know, a reverse triangle. I said, Mark, Mark on needs to really do something. He, uh, he's been on his back the whole round. Yeah, and we're looking at 46 seconds or so left in this round. Marco needs to start exploding off. He's got a bridge, start to step off. Lee's Lee. again looking towards a pass, yeah. maybe the mount. I'd love to see Lee try and step over the head and attack this lead, this arm. There's an arm bar there if he steps over the head. Especially with only uh, 20 seconds left. Like the arm, he's failing, like the arm's loose. There it is again, let's see. Yep. It's there. There is an arm bar there. Oh, again, the good. Marco trying to use the cage to explode. Just to let you all know, this is Nick Albert joined by the Boston Gyp Gypsy himself, John McGuire. The arm bar going down to the car park.
know he's gonna come. The most dangerous fighters are the wounded ones or the ones that are behind on the scorecard because they have absolutely nothing to lose. And that's, that's what I'm had. talking about. And there's that, Lee, that was a knee that Lee ate, and luckily he was able to get a single he, leg he, off that. He, he ate the knee, and uh, but he managed to get the takedown. But yeah, he's looking for the knee slice again. There he's go back. He's back in half guard, and he's got an arm trap. And he's looking for these short elbows. Crowd singing for Lee. There's only one Lee Mitchell, I think they're saying. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with walking in a winter wonderland. But I have no idea, but <laughs> for some reason they always sing it whenever Lee's I fighting. Know. Again, them short elbows, they're extremely concussive, but Lee's got to be careful that he does not allow his hips to get too high to where he can roll through. Again, and if I'm Marco, it's no good... Laying there, you've, he's got to be getting on his side. You don't want to be flat on your back well, like he is, and that's why he's getting past so easy. He's too flat on his back. And the thing behind it as well is he knows he's losing this fight right now. He's laying on his back with three plus minutes left. He's got to explode. This is where you just take the risks. The worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to lose. If you don't take the risks, you will lose. Yep. Lee with ne neon belly straight to mount. There he goes in mount, and he's got three minutes to work, so loads of time. Stretches Marco out. Marco's got to look to just chop him down or look for a bridge. Now, if I was Lee, I'd go to a high mount now to do more damage. Like, because here you can put pick little shots, but if you go high mount, he needs to go a little bit higher. Got to be an up in the armpit. Yeah. Now Marco Lesson needs to be straight. He needs to straighten his legs out, be pushing Lee's hip. Oh, nice bridge. And that's the best way to get out of Mount. And no, Lee, 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 go, oh, Lee is able to get right Lee. back up. Nice. Right and, back to the body lock. And Marco's like, right back down. Sort of like pull guard again, right? I think he's got to have something going on with his lower back. Because every time Lee pulls on his lower back, he yeah. goes right down. He, he just goes down, doesn't he? Yeah. It, it doesn't look like it's something... And it could have been something that happened in the first, yeah. and he's just dealing with the pain now. If I, I, I'd like, like I said, Lee's been pretty dominant in this fight. I'd like to see him get the finish here, make a statement. He's dominated, big elbows. I'd like to see him guillotine. Lee, I know Lee has got a good guillotine. He likes a guillotine, and I think he's going to go guillotine. Oh, Peruvian. He's going necktie. Marco's able to pop out of it. Lee, luckily, though, didn't lose any position on that. Marco was trying to use the cage to overtake the position. We got one minute and 33 seconds left. Marco fighting off of his back. And again, Lee Mitchell moves into mount. And one minute 20. Marco, like I said, Marco needs to do something there. He's, he's down big time, losing. He needs to, he needs to get easy. I know it's easy to set the done, especially you're tired. You're bleeding. Easy said the none. Going for that Americana. Armbar, nice. There and it is. Tap. There's there the tap. There it is. Armbar tap. He tapped. Yeah, he's not arguing with it. He tapped. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't even know how he could argue. He actually did tap. Tapped, I watched yeah. him tap.
Chapman. Referee Harry Selby calls on the contest at 3 minutes and 59 seconds of round number 3. For your winner by armbar, Lee!